As a scientist, I'm always puzzled by the question, how am I supposed to write a strong thesis statement? How I'm going to organize it? How I'm going to convince my peers and readers that my statement is solid and is heavily background with a lot of scientific data and also reflects my scientific literacy. My name is Milena Georgieva and I'm an associate professor in molecular biology at the Bulgarian Academy of Sciences. Yeah, of course, writing the strong thesis statement is a very difficult one because first we should differentiate between the different theses when we refer to thesis work, to thesis statement and to doctoral thesis. Three things are quite different. Let's focus on the strong thesis statement that we input in the end of our introduction part of the research papers. This is the part where we state our main ideas and we make this thesis statement there. And exactly this paragraph should be solid, should be strong, should be scientifically sound and should also attract and at the same time convince our readers of our knowledge, of our ideas and also of our hypothesis because this is the part which allows the reader to continue reading our research paper after that. Also, it can be analyzing statement in which we see some drawbacks in the scientific idea. We also search for some solutions, but also try to prove that our approach, scientific approach, will be meaningful enough in order to fill these gaps, which we have already detected. How to make a really good this statement? First, we should know the material on which we write. We should know, uh, we should have a very good overview of the scientific literature on the topic because this is very important in order to be able to export very important conclusions from other authors' work, build our own idea, sit on the pillars of the existing research and then start to build the new blocks of the new statement, this is statement that will introduce our research and that will highlight its importance, its meaningfulness and also its position, the right position in the scientific literature. And this right position is addressing crucial gaps, addressing crucial research questions that are raised by all other authors or raised by us by knowing the literature. It's very, very important. So we have to write clearly, we have to write concisely, we have to write in a very confident way our thesis statement. So definitely we should put some kind of an overview of our idea. We should try to write a couple of different paragraphs for thesis statement and choose the one that is the most argumentative, the most descriptive, yet concise and confident enough in order to make our readers believe in our idea and continue reading. So this is the most important part. And yes, indeed, it needs a lot of master skills in writing because in a paragraph, someone to be able to solidly express his thesis statement in a strong and concise way is indeed one of the best way to show his knowledge of the scientific literature, but also to show good academic literacy and analyze brain who can perceive where our own research can get into the point and address crucial crucial points so know your literature know your scientific idea try to dress your scientific ideas with very short plain and yet on a high academic language sentences which should convince our readers and peers that the statement is solid enough and it needs the attention of the following research paper.